Well, now I know how a screen registers on camera. Okay, so playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Great game. Uh, and a Louis C.K. bet just went through my head. I just started laughing. And it made me think, you know, how much laughter has that guy? I mean, any of you out there, really think about it. How much laughter has he brought you over the years? Because he's been doing it a while. I mean, the guy's a pro. It's easier for maybe the younger people who didn't get into him to uh, be dismissive of him because he pulled his dick out. But, uh, I mean, is that does that cancel out those years of laughter? I mean, life, the world's gone to shit. Things are fucking crazy. Sorry, it's late. So I gotta keep it down. But, uh... Shit's crazy, you know? I mean, the, the laughter, I mean, that's something. That's that's not that's nothing to be taken lightly. Somebody who can really bring you joy like that and bring people joy. Strangely enough, I think that's the uh, that's the unfortunate part that the thing that could redeem him the most uh, is a thing he's like basically not allowed to do anymore, though apparently he's performing, uh, you know, in New York at the Comedy Cellar. And, um, you know, he hasn't talked about it, which... Uh, I get how that's weird, you know, nobody's expecting it, he's just there, and he doesn't, he, you know, I, I can see how that would be weird for, uh, for women, but, uh, you know, like, I guess apparently somebody got kicked out for saying, pull out your dick, and, like, that's, that's fucking lame, I mean, really, come on, you kick a, a woman out for saying that, that's completely, completely reasonable, anyway, uh, so, Louis, not that you're ever gonna see this, I think you should talk about it. And, uh, I think maybe you would get a, uh, cause we all know you're a good guy. That's the funny thing is people are just scared of that one fire breathing minority of like people that like, you know, why, why are we letting like fucking a handful of, you know, obnoxious millennials, uh, dictate how people think and speak. It's, it's absurd. Uh, I was born 81. Technically I'm a millennial, so don't, don't hate me too much. Uh, it's really baby boomers who fuck well. I suppose we could say that for a lot of generations, which that's the funny thing about Red Dead 2. I don't know if anybody saw the South Park where uh, they talked about how the uh, older generations had made a, uh, a deal with Man Bear Pig, which climate change that they finally acknowledged uh, was real. And uh, the uh, for the younger generation to make a deal, uh, they had to give up soy sauce and Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, I thought that was kind of brilliant because no generation wants to give up the toys. You know, because it's so good that uh, when I when I thought, okay, could if we could really fix the world, if I just didn't have this, uh, you know, would I do it? You'd like to think, yeah, but but there's it's so good that there's that moment of like, eh, I have to I, the fact that I even have to think about it is fucking crazy, but it's quite a testament to that game and uh, Rockstar. Uh, if anybody knows anybody who works there. Let him know this. It's a big compliment. And again, they've probably seen it. Okay, I'm fucking rambling. It's over three minutes. No one has that attention span anymore.